I've been listening to some new music lately. I've fallen in love with a couple songs that, you know, people are going to look at me and go, why is she listening to that? Well, I, you know, I like music of all types. That's why my radio show is called Eclectica. And I play music of all types on my show, so it's really not too big a surprise that I would like all sorts. Just a couple I don't care for. And one of my favorites right now is um, Kevin Rudolph's Let It Rock. And I got, I, I went to, I, I don't go to iTunes, but I went to iTunes, I got it. The one where he sings with Lil Wayne. But then I got the one where Lil Wayne is not in. Because I kept, I kept thinking, okay, the harmonics, the beat, of course, but the harmonics in the song are just stellar. They really are. It's a vocalist's number. I mean, it's a chorister's number. He must have done choir some, at some point. I mean, really, he must have, because he's got excellent melody harmony mixes in there. And so I got the one without Lil Wayne because I kept saying to myself, you know, this song really doesn't need the rap. I mean, some songs might, but this song doesn't. <laughs> so I found out there was a version without Lil Wayne. Nothing against Lil Wayne, but I like the one without. And uh, also David Gitta's um, When Love Takes Over, sung by Kelly. Oh no. I went blank on her last name. She's lovely, number one, and she sings beautifully. And uh, it's a really fine song. And this guy is a DJ. He doesn't tout himself as a composer or anything else. He's a DJ. He has spent his life on turntables. And this song, When Love Takes Over, is a beautiful, beautiful number. I'm, I'm liking it. And then also by Kevin Rudolph, uh, Welcome to the World. It's fun. Wow, this is a very dark tunnel. It's short, but it's dark. Hi! I'm still here. <laughs> but, yes, I'm enjoying some very new music. And you know what's weird about the new, new music? Because I'm listening to a station that plays almost totally that. Rappers, hip-hop, uh, house, dance, uh, music. It sounds... Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that I loved this then, but it almost sounds like disco. It's very close to disco, so it's not that foreign to my head. I found some new music that makes me giggle. Also in new music, the guitarist David Rhodes, he put out his first solo full album CD called Bittersweet. It too is lovely and I'm trying to figure out do I want to buy the whole thing? Do I want to buy a couple tracks now and listen to those and get into those and get the rest later? I don't know. If you look up David Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S, bittersweet, you'll find it. Uh, some of the songs are really fun. Very, it's very, uh, it was very surprising to me because as, as, as one person who interviewed him said, it's, it's rock. It's just plain rock. It's not so much world and stuff. And he's done all sorts of different types of music. He's been Peter Gabriel's guitarist for many, 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 many years. And he's also worked on the Dis um, Discovery Channel's uh, Atlas, China, France, Australia. He did the background music for that with um, a, a few other people. And uh, also he did the music for... I think it's Discovery Sea Monsters. So he's done film and background and 
And now he's got this solo CD, and it's it's really cool. So if you're looking for music, there's there's some to listen to. Anyway.